Today, we're going to be talking about why I love the GameCube. Welcome back to 128KB. So the GameCube turns 20. I can't believe that, like it's, it's just insane. It makes me feel old. And yes, we are gonna be talking about why I love the GameCube from sort of the hardware itself, all the way through some of the games and also just a bit of Andy story time, you know? So basically going to the story time, everyone knows that I'm a handheld lover and that's because I actually had a Game Boy Color as my first console. My older brother had PlayStation and stuff like that so I suppose I didn't really need a console at the time however I was a big Nintendo fan he was more of the sort of Sony side which was great because I got to play all the Sony games but you know I just always wanted those Nintendo consoles so I didn't have an N64 or anything like that I had to go to my friends houses to like play those so when the GameCube was coming out I had all of the Nintendo magazines and all I could do was just read and wish for a GameCube. I never thought it would actually happen because I was stuck with my old trusty Game Boy Color, which I love and I still have today. And then around my birthday, or it could have even been Christmas, I mean, it was about 20 years ago, I don't really remember. <laughs> I remember getting my GameCube and it was the only thing ever that gave me a nosebleed, literally had a nosebleed. As soon as I opened it up and there was the GameCube there and I had one myself, I literally had a nosebleed. I couldn't contain the excitement that I had and that ran throughout the entire sort of span of its lifetime I just loved it more and more and more down to the design of the console itself the like awesome cube that it is with a little handle on the back I loved the little tiny discs that are just so like iconic to GameCube and the controller as well which everyone still to this day says is the best controller for Super Smash Brothers but just for me for any game I just loved the controller it was so ergonomic it fit in your hand so well it was a funky indigo color. I've got a Japanese one here with a clear back and you know I just love the controller but the GameCube for me was definitely like the highlight of my childhood. Some of the games I absolutely loved were Resident Evil 4. I loved the Resident Evil 4 and all the other games that they ported across so you had Zero, you had um, 1, 2, I even think 3 was on there as well which was excellent so you had the Resident Evil games. Uh, you also had the Nintendo games Games, obviously so you had Double Dash so Mario Kart Double Dash was a keen favorite for me and my friends at the time I absolutely loved playing that but there was a racing game that I actually preferred which was F-Zero GX I absolutely loved that game and it's a shame because I'm pretty sure that was the last F-Zero game we ever saw so that is a bit of a shame there there were so many other games as well just like Paper Mario I really enjoyed that game when I had it as well we had Luigi's Mansion 1 which was absolutely fantastic and they actually remade this for the 3DS just around the sort of time the Switch came out so I think whilst the Switch was out they actually launched the original Luigi's Mansion, not Luigi's Mansion 2 that had already come out on the 3DS. They actually did a remake of the GameCube version, which is still fairly expensive to buy. You can find it, but you know, it's still like a full price game rather than a slightly cheaper one. You had things like Beautiful Joe, which was brilliant. Another favorite of mine, just because of the co-op nature, was Time Splitters 2. I absolutely loved that game. It was such a good game. Me and my friends used to play that all the time. Then of course we had Wind Waker. So we had Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. I really, really hope that they bring that to the Switch. But if not, then it's fine because they did do a HD remake for the Wii U. So if you haven't checked out our Wii U videos already, they are on the channel, go have a look at those ones. Now, one of my all time favorite games, which I love and everybody hates apparently, well, actually there's two games, we'll go over both. We'll go over both. The first one is Super Mario Sunshine. Now I had that as it launched on the GameCube and I absolutely thought it was incredible. I loved Flood. I loved the fact that the GameCube triggers, you could sort of press them down a little bit and a little bit of water would come out of Flood or you could hold it full way. You know, you could change the velocity of the water and I just thought it was fantastic. I love Isle of Delfino or whatever it's called. It was just such a fantastic game. So of course, when they released it for 
the Switch in the 3D All Stars like triple pack, I immediately had to get that and I love it. Even though so many people don't like it. Now, I, I don't get it. You're wrong. If you don't like it, you're wrong. Super Mario Sunshine is fantastic. I even had the t-shirt that came with the game at launch and unfortunately I don't have that anymore. The other game that everyone else hates as well is Star Fox Adventures. I know it wasn't meant to be a Star Fox game, but for some reason I just loved it. You know, maybe it was because I was a kid back then, but there was just something about it that really grasped me and drew me into that game being around and the dinosaurs, which were, yeah, it was a little bit random because it was meant to be a dinosaur game and then they just turned it into a Star Fox game. But I absolutely loved that. And when I re-bought my GameCube, like not that long ago, to be honest, that was one of the first games that I picked up was Star Fox Adventures because it's something that I really wanted to jump back into. So I'd love to see a remake of that. It's never, ever going to happen, but I'd absolutely love for them to redo Star Fox as well. There was another Star Fox on the GameCube as well. I think it was called Assault, Star Fox Assault. I might be wrong there. Let me know in the comments if it's the correct name or not. But anyway, that was another excellent game, which also saw you come out of your ship. So you were in your ship and you were also out of it as well. So that was good, but I preferred Adventures myself. So another game that blew my mind at the time was Prince of Persia Sands of Time. I absolutely loved that game. It blew my mind with all the parkour and the sort of sword fights and just the sort of like historic sort of aspect of the game. And I'm so glad that they are going to be remaking that game. Let's hope it comes out on Switch. That would be awesome. Another honorable mention would be something like Soul Calibur. That was a big game for some people. Pikmin as well. I never actually owned it, but I did play it at some people's houses, which was great. Now, another game which was absolutely fantastic was of course Metroid Prime. Coming out in the early noughties, sometime around 2004, I think, around the same time as Metroid Fusion on the Game Boy Advance. So I had already been playing the sort of older Metroid games, the 2D games, and I absolutely loved those. So for me, when the 3D version, Metroid Prime came out, that just blew my mind because I never even imagined a 3D version of Metroid. I just always saw it as a 2D sort of side scroller, you know, Metroidvania game as it is. And for it to come out as Metroid Prime, Oh, it was absolutely fantastic. And I really, really hope that they make the trilogy remake for the Switch because the Wii version is really expensive <laughs> and it'd be so nice to have all of these games made HD. So of course we have Metroid Dread coming out. It may even be out whilst you're watching this video. If so, go and buy it. But we are still anticipating Metroid Prime 4. So maybe in the run up to that, hopefully, fingers crossed, they will release the trilogy all nice and HD'd for us on the Switch. So yes, the GameCube turns 20. Yes, it makes me feel old, but it's still a fantastic console. There's so many more games I haven't even touched upon in this video. But that was sort of my trip down memory lane, a bit of nostalgia there, and I'm sure some of you will sort of refer and relate to my experiences as well. So if you haven't had a GameCube yet, go and grab one. They are excellent. Make sure you stick around because we do have more GameCube related content coming out, as well as the best way of playing it on a modern TV in 2021. So make sure we stick around for that video too. So let's wish the GameCube a happy 20th birthday because, you know, it's just awesome. Let me know your experiences as well with the GameCube. Did you get a nosebleed as well? Let me know down there. Anyway, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and make sure to check out our website, 128kb.co.uk for all sorts of things, gaming hardware and tech related. Stick around for more. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.